what's happening guys it's thursday morning here in january texas I'm out here working on a uh, bench for the footboard of uh, the bed that we just finished building um thought i'd take a quick second and, and talk about this these shop stools just got this shop stool i don't know going on two weeks now um i'm gonna talk about this one i was this is the one i was using this is the small pro lift you can probably a lot of you guys have these it's been about 50 bucks when i bought this one uh, cheap sheet metal, it's got a hydraulic lift in it which isn't bad but it, it gets weak after a while and it does kind of tend to creep on me nowadays. So that was an issue, I was always having to readjust it. But the biggest complaint that I have with this, besides that it's very cheaply made, from the padding to the upholstery to the, the sheet metal base, these wheels here. These little hard rubber wheels, they're very small, they don't get, have any give to them. So this being a wood shop, there's always little random screws, chips, things like that on the floor, wood scraps. I'm trying to roll this around, I'm kind of a big guy, so the center of gravity is a little bit high. So when I roll around with this, the wheels catch and it tips right over. Dumps me in the floor, sitting on it, trying to work on something low, leaning down a little bit, you know, leaning a little over the center. The wheels will kick right out the back, dumps me in the floor, I've landed on my butt several times with this one. So. It's starting to be a problem. Really, really wasn't happy with it. Then I saw these guys. This is Viper Industrial. This is the robust low stool that they have. And I've been seeing these ads on, you know, on, on social media. And started looking at them. And they, they look really cool. So that's the first thing that kind of caught my eye. And then I started looking into them. And it looked like a, a good solution for my problems here. And so I gave them a call. And I talked to Chris up there, and he, Chris is in customer service, he, he's a great guy. I talked to him a different couple of times, I made an order, and then I wanted to change something. Called him back, because I told him my name, he knew exactly who he was talking to. Um, the, these guys are all veterans. Chris is a Marine veteran, we talked about that a lot. Um, you know, his time in the service was a lot more recent than mine. So we kind of traded some stories there. Real cool people. Took great care of me. Customer service was great. Uh, the, the shipment was delayed. They were real quick to get a hold of me and let me know there was a problem. They're working on it. No, no complaints there. So this finally arrived. Got this first thing out of the box. First thing I noticed, the construction of this. I pulled this out of the box here, this ring. This ring holds, supports the legs on the outside on the wheels here. And the first thing I noticed is it's, it's heavy steel tubing. It's not, there's no cheap, it's, it's not even flexible. All welded construction. There's no pop rivets or spot welds on these to shear off. So that was the first thing that I noticed. And I started pulling it out of the box in these legs, solid steel. These are eighth inch plate. They're a little bit weighty. Real nice design here. Solid steel construction, except for uh, this is machined aluminum for the adjuster. Now this is a newer design. The other one they had had a screw where you could spin the stool around and screw it up and down. This is the quick adjust and it works really well. There's no, it's all mechanical. There's no hydraulics or anything in there to wear out. And to lift it, you pick it up and to set it go down, you put it where you want it and it stays right there. It locks into place. Solid steel shaft, perfect. These casters, they roll very easy. They have options, like this backrest is one of the options you can order with your stool. They have wider seats you can get. They have tool trays like this one has so you can put stuff here if you want to. They have another tool holder that comes off the side that you can put cups and different tools on that. None of that is really practical for the work that I do here in the shop, but those are just things that they offer with these. And overall, it's a, it's a very sturdy, very nice stool. And the, the, the biggest thing for me is that this base is nice and wide in the center of gravity. It's very sturdy. I, I can roll all around in the shop very easily. And yeah, versus this one, you, have, you can really roll on that too much. So, but this one I can cruise around here, get stuff done, don't have to change positions much. And uh, I haven't been able to tip it over. I can lean back against this backrest here. No problems, haven't, haven't had the least, least bit of problems with the tipping or moving it. So that was the biggest thing. But uh, the only drawback, if there is one, really, it's American made, it's all made right here in the United States, veteran owned company. Um, this isn't much, this isn't on a production line. This is probably a small production, smaller production facility where they're making these. 
Um, but they don't give them to you. They're, they're not cheap at all. But if you want something for quality, especially if you want made in America, which is important to a lot of us, um, this one was worth the price. Um, it's a nice, nice addition to my shop. I'm really glad to have it in here. So I'm going to give you a little closer, closer look here in a second, kind of how it's put together and everything. And um, just thought I would give a little shout out to them. Chris and Viper, they were nice enough to send me a, a decal from my cabinet up there with the other manufacturers we have here in the shop. Uh, no complaints. Really, really, really good company to deal with. So if you're interested in something worthwhile to have in your shop, take a look at these guys. Viper Industrial, find them online. All right, let me give you a little, little bit closer view of this thing. Like I said, it's uh, the Viper Industrial. Here's a bracket that pretty much supports all the legs out on the outside. The whole, the whole thing's put together like this. There's no, no rivets, no spot welds to break off, nothing like that. No cheap sheet metal on here. This is all solid steel. There's an eighth inch plate, laser cut, the designs in it, everything. Yeah, it's kind of nice looking. I kind of like the way it looks. I think it's kind of cool. This is all solid steel. The, the seat post is solid steel. Quarter 20 bolts there, solid shaft. Pretty solid steel spring there. For It goes all the way down low enough to work on uh, stuff low to the ground, high enough to sit at most of the benches and tables from the shop. And uh, these casters, I, you can get different colors of these and everything. It, I haven't been able to stop it. it. They haven't hung up on anything in here like the other one does. So after a couple of weeks with it, pretty happy with the performance of that. So there it is, guys. There's the robust stool, the low one from Viper Industrial. Take a look at those guys online if you're interested in something solid for your shop.